assalamu alaikum friends my name is muhammad yunus and i am udo technical developer so in this video we are going to talk about how to add a computed field from the udo ui we are not going to add the fields uh, through the code but we will just add it from the udo ui so for this purpose um, let me just show you where i want to add the field for example if you go to the sales module this is currently udo community 13 version and uh, I, almost it is uh, you can follow the same steps for uh, the Udo version are uh, 12 14 and so on so uh, for example here uh, we can see if I open an, uh, any of the quotation like uh, this one so first of all you will have to activate the debug mode for activating the debug mode you will have to add in the URL uh, question mark debug is equal to 1 uh, just after the web and then uh, you will be able to see the quotation date uh, here on this um, uh, sale order and here you can see the delivery date so here I will add a new date field after the quotation date which will be the days between this quotation date and the delivery date so uh, let me just add a uh, delivery date like uh, it will be 18 and the quotation date is uh, today's date, right? Uh, so let me make it today's date. It is nine, right? Sorry, it is uh, not January. It should be uh, September nine, right? And this should be September at all. So uh, I want to add another field, uh, and for this purpose, uh, first of all, I have activated the debug mode, and then I will have to go to the settings, and then uh, go to technical, and scroll down, and here you will be able to see models menu item. So here, search for the model. Uh, for example, let me show you how you can find out the model uh, from the um, from the front. For example, if I open this uh, screen. And here, uh, this you can uh, click this debug icon, and here you can see this form view. So if you click here, you will be able to see the form view external ID and also the model. So this is the model that we want to uh, where we want to add the field, and this is the external ID of this form. So for the time being, we want to use the model name. So I just copied it and go to the models here, like this, and then search for this model. So this is the model name. Let me open it and then click the edit button. So at the end, uh, you will see this add a line. So let me add a field here for difference in days like this. And here I will have to add the label like uh, days. And then I will add the type. So uh, currently the days will be in integer. So I will make the field as integer. So it will change accordingly like what type of field you want to add it depends on your requirements and here you can add some help that will uh, appear once you scroll or your um, cursor or that field so here are some of the parameters that you can activate and deactivate like stored is equal to true uh, you want to make it a stored field or not you want to make it a copy true or false these are some of the attributes you can play around it and learn about it that what is the purpose of it so let me just make it uh, stored uh, true and make it stored false and copy false because it is a computed field so by default it is copy false here uh, we will have in the compute section we will have to add the method uh, for this uh, uh, field to make it computed and uh, here it is a, uh, an example has been added uh, to uh, show you that how you can add the method the python code here so let me just copy it here and paste it here let me uh, add proper identification like this and then and this one so like this um, so once i added the computed method it make the dependency field a uh, mandatory because you will have to add the fields name here which uh, on the basis of which you want to compute this field so for example uh, I want to compute this field on the basis of the order date and the uh, delivery date. So here um, I will have to add the name like uh, uh, quotation date technical name is a uh, date order. So let me just show you how you can find uh, uh, like how you can find out uh, the name the technical name of the field. 
so if I go to the sales and uh, then open this one so after activating the debug mode if you are uh, putting the cursor over the field you will be able to see the field name is date order this is the technical name which you need to use here date order and the second field name is uh, if we I go here and then bring the cursor here commitment uh, date so here you can see commitment date so these both fields are so this uh, uh, the computed field basically depends on, on these two fields therefore I have added it in the dependency so whenever you change the value of any of this field this uh, custom field value will be compute so uh, and here I ha have to add the logic that uh, how you want to compute this uh, new field on the basis of these two fields so uh, uh, here I have used the for the for loop so the for loop is used in the computed field because uh, it can it will give you the singleton error if you don't use it so you must need to use it it is a bit of technical stuff so if you are not a technical person you will not understand this that why we are using the for loop but for a technical it is uh, very simple so here um, I will have to uh, first of all uh, let me get the two field values for example date order and date order name uh, record is uh, the record is a character actually the current record and then here you will mm, use the field name date order and then our delivery date so delivery date uh, equal to record dot commitment date so you need to use here the technical name commitment date and then I need to find the difference between these two fields so uh, date uh, delivery so delivery will always be greater than the quotation date or uh, date delivery so I will uh, use the exactly the same name delivery minus <coughs> date order so use the great the so use um, the greater date on the uh, left side because uh, otherwise you will get the uh, value in negative so delivery minus uh, date order this will return the difference is it uh, uh, a daytime object and here uh, we can say like uh, difference dot days this so difference uh, this daytime object I uh, have the attribute days which will return you that number of days and here we need to add the field name like this one save it here like this sorry and this one so let me just to uh, click the save button to store uh, to add the field in the model and then we will add it on the uh, form view so let me just check everything is correct uh, so looking uh, fine everything so let me just copy the name so that i can add in the form view so let me click save and then hit the save here so the field has been saved in the um, models so let me just uh, check here and here you can see the field has been saved here so now we will have to uh, go to the form view and then click here to this debug icon and then uh, click this edit form view so here we want to edit the field just after the quotation date so let me just search for this quotation date so this is the quotation date and here uh, we will edit it like field name equal to uh, this and then close this tag so click the save button and then uh, refresh the screen to see the uh, change so this will automatically compute the difference between these two dates uh, like for example if you you can see here the difference between these two days is 252 days actually it is picking the date of 109 so this means it is a uh, taking the date of uh, January 1 so let me make it uh, like uh, September 9 and then okay save it so you can see it returns as nine days only because uh this date is uh 18 and this is nine so the difference is nine days so you can add the computer field like this and you can also add the 
unchanged fields like this but there is here is one thing that you cannot search on the basis of this uh, field because this is stored false as i as i showed you here like i deactivate this option stored false therefore um, it you cannot search on the basis of this field for example if i uh, go to the tree view and then go here like I, if i search for the days you cannot see here because this is not stored true so you will have to make it stored true in order to uh, appear it in the search and in the group i and let me show you one uh, one other error message like if i try to open this record it will throw an error message so what this error message says that unsupported operand type bool and daytime this means that one of the date in these uh, fields is not set either the delivery date is not set or the quotation date is not set so for this purpose we will have to add here a condition like if uh, like let me add identification a bit here if uh, so like i will have to add it here after this if date order and delivery if these both dates are set then apply this otherwise just store zero like this so we will have to copy it just store a zero so like this so and then let me show you how the stored uh, true works here so let me just uh, make it true and then save this record and then save this one so this has been saved and uh, let me show you here the change let me refresh the screen so you can let me just open this record uh, so here you can see the change it is actually zero for this one and for those uh, the date is set it is showing is uh, nine days so let me just make it eight and then it will be a uh, change to uh, so for example let me change it to eight and then okay and then save it like this so and let me go to the tree view and if i search here like uh, days so you can see it returns uh, that is uh, it you can search it on the basis of this field and you can also add the group by for example if i search here like this and you can edit and this will happen so this is how it uh, will work and uh, if you have any questions related to this uh, video you can uh, join our discord group or uh, the link of the discord group is in the description of this video uh, you can ask your questions there and one more thing please subscribe to our channel because uh, we are regularly uploading a uh, technical and functional videos uh, and tips like this so you will enjoy uh, the video so that you can get the uh, updates of the upcoming videos thank you